Hey. All right. I have an electric field with some trig functions in it and some stuff. And we have, uh, we want to know the magnitude of the electric field at some point. This is part B. A unit direction, unit vector, and an equation um, of a line, basically a streamline or electric field line. Okay, so how do we find E? Um, e at P, you just plug in uh, P into the different points. So let's start. E of P is equal to 20 E negative 5. You see there's a Y here, plug in the Y for 0 0.1, because that's our Y component. Cosine of 5 times x, x is pi 6, so it's 5 pi over 6, minus 20e to the negative, oh, excuse me, 5, 0 0.1. Plugging in y again because there's a y right there, or there's a y right here. Um, I just distributed. That's one thing I did on my page. I didn't realize. I just distributed uh, this here and there. So now we have the sine of five x, and that is again five pi over six. Okay. And. Uh, this is in the x direction, this is in the y direction. So, really there's no variables or anything, you just you plug in these numbers into your calculator and do the math and it will result in negative 10.5 in the x direction and a negative uh, 6.1 in your y direction. Now we want the magnitude of EP and to do that, we'd simply put in our magnitude equation um, from right triangle trig, which is 10.5 squared minus 6.1 squared equals 12.1. And that's your first uh, part of this problem. I feel like this is a fairly easy problem. It's just, um, you know, using trig. But you have a calculator, so I mean, I mean, trig, I, to me, trig's only hard when there's no calculator. With this, you clearly have a calculator for it, so. Um, so part B, I'm going to find the unit vector of P. That's also very simple, I feel. Um, remember, any unit vector is the vector in question over its magnitude. Okay. Vector in question is right here. 10.5 in the x direction minus 6.1 in the y direction. And you divide that by 12.1. And because it's a vector, you remember you divide each term by the, the scalar. So you're dividing this 10.5 term by 12, the 6.1 term by 12. And that will leave you with a result of 6.87ax minus 0.5ay. And please, if I get some of these wrong numbers wrong, just leave a comment and I'll make sure it's fixed. I believe these are all right. Okay, this one's a little more tricky, not bad. We want to find the equation of a line passing through P. That's basically asking for the electric field line equation at a point P. And P is this uh, value here. So P is given. P is 5 over 6, 0 0.1, and 2. Yeah, 2. Okay. So the first thing we do is we can use dy dx, let me get rid of this, um, dy dx is equal to ey ex. This is what we use when we're looking to find electric field line equations, okay? 
So we're just going to plug in the the electric field line points. Okay. You'll get dy dx equals um, 20e Twenty e negative five y over twenty e negative five y. You see how these cancel? They're going to cancel, and then you have the other parts of the components. Because this this term is part of the e y component and the e x component, so it's really the other two that that matter. So it's the negative five sine five x and this is going to be the cos 5x so these terms cancel and now you're left with e equals negative sine x 5x over cos 5x and this is a this is a tangent of 5x so, but I'll leave it like this for now. I mean, you do realize that this is going to be a negative tangent because sine over cosine with the same argument, right? Um, we'll bring over the dx because we're solving this with separation, okay? Integration by separation, or, um, yeah. So now we're looking to integrate these two. Um, I, I would use u substitution here. So u is equal to 5x, du dx is equal to 5. So du is equal to 5 dx. So to plug that du in, you're going to need to make a 1 fifth, right? So this is just going to be y. We'll worry about the constant for integration later. Um, Here's our integral again. This is the harder integral, if you will, over cosine of u. And now to plug in this, um, to get this 5 out here, or to get this du, since we, need a, we don't have a 5 here, we need to put a 1 fifth out here, and that gives us the 5 that we're looking for. So now we can plug in our du. So we'll have a 1 fifth out there. Um, while I'm at it, I'll just make, the, I'll bring the negative out as well. Make things as simple as possible when you're doing a um, little more complicated integrals. Okay. At least I do. I'm. I'm. Maybe I'm not great. I don't know. Um. So now we have a sine u over cosine u. Um, We know the derivative of sine is uh, the derivative of sine is cosine, I believe, right? Negative cosine. So we already have that. So it's almost like another u substitution. So we'll call this uh, v is equal to sine of u I know um, he does v is cos of u dv would equal sine of u um, So it means dv is equal to sine u du. And because of that, you now get y equals negative 1, 5. So you plug in this uh, dv. You may just know that the integral of tangent is um, some answer, but I'm just doing it the long way. So now I just plugged in sine of u du for dv. And now I plug in v for cos of u. So now it's a very simple integral of 
y equals negative 1 5 ln of v. Now we plug in our v to be cosine of u. Cosine of u, right? Now we plug in our u to be 5x. Hopefully, um, you guys like that I do the, and this will be a plus C. Um, the longer integrals, maybe next time I'll just I'll just tell you what the integral is. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about how I handle those. So okay, they take forever. Anyway, now we plug in our value of p. So 0 0.1 is the y, pi 6 is the x. So 0 0.1 equals negative 1 fifth ln of cos 5 pi over 6. I'm just plugging in pi over 6 for x. And we're looking for a c. So this ends up being about negative 0 0.03 or negative 0 0.0, yeah, plus c. So it leaves c to be 0 0.13. So now we plug in c to our equation from before. I'm just plugging it in up here. Negative 1 fifth ln cos 5 pi over 6 plus 0 0.13. All right, I hope that uh, makes sense. The integral, I, I feel like I didn't do a great job of explaining, but I, I hope I um, hope you could stick with me and get through that part. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck in your studies. Goodbye.